So, Jeff Hurst, what do you love about Wimbledon? It's a, gr a great event. It's one of the best events in the world of any sport. Strange enough, or interesting enough, I, it's a sport I watch probably second to football, um, and I really enjoy, this, really enjoy the sport. And to come here at Wimbledon and uh, do it at the top end is rather nice. Did you play? Absolutely no. It was mainly cricket and football. Strange enough, I was talking to Gordon Banks, who's here today as well, and he didn't play cricket in the summer. He played te quite a bit of tennis, which I've only found out today. So he's a tennis fan, and he's brought his daughter as well. And when you're sitting in the Royal Box, you realise, my goodness, those serves and the returns, they're unbelievable, aren't they? Well, it's completely different watching it live uh, than watching it on TV. You really get a sense of how, um, how good it is and how difficult some of the shots are and the performance of the, of the tennis players, their athleticism, their fitness... Um, it's just a great sport which I enjoy. Yeah. This month, of course, is the anniversary, 50 years ago. How fresh, 66. Do you think about it every day? Well, there's, you think about it a lot because people do tend to... Um, it's a long time in one respect, but otherwise it, it is quite fresh because people tell you their memories. You still bump into people who are at the game or tell you some fantastic stories of where they were on the day. And so it brings it home to you quite fresh in many respects. Yeah. Especially the goal. There were three of them. <laughs> <laughs> some would Did say two. The game? Jeff, some would say two, but we won't get into that. Yeah, I mean, Gary, that have moment. You, have you got Scottish parents? <laughs> yes. Um, yes, I mean, I, I, it is sometimes, I find it quite strange that you're actually down there and being part of that fantastic day. I have to pinch myself, but it is talked about fairly regularly, particularly this year. But over the years, people's memories have been one of the most enjoyable parts of, of winning a World Cup. Yep. This week, of course, it was a very different uh, story at the Euros. Really, there's so much has been said in the last few days since that defeat, and I have nothing to add to that apart from it was just very poor. Do you feel sad? I felt a little sad for Roy. Um, I think at the, at the end in the, the press conference, I must admit, that's how I felt. Um, so really there's nothing more to say than what's been said in the last week by many of the pundits. You One of the most disappointing days we've probably had in our, in, in our sport for a long, long time. Yeah. You, you know about management because you were a manager. You're on a hiding to nothing, really, as a manager. Well, it is a difficult profession, but they get well paid now. Probably the biggest hiding to nothing is, is if you're the national manager, and we know how difficult that's been for many managers over a long period of time, since uh, the time we won it. So it's, um, I don't envy the position. Uh, I, I got the sack from Chelsea in, in 1981, April 23rd, 12 o'clock, and so but those days have changed because you could earn as much money uh, from a living point of view outside the game as in it. That's now changed dramatically. Jeff, what did Sir, Sir Alf Ramsey have then as a manager that subsequent managers haven't had? Well, it's, it's, it's difficult to sum up, but really I think we, he had a system of play which he's honed at Ipswich for five years. They won the third, second and first division championship. He kept that system of play for the national team, twin strikers, so everybody and fitted players from the clubs into that system. The discipline was as strong and as severe as I've ever experienced. And probably that's not, you look at that today, perhaps you'd argue that's not quite as, as, as strong as it used to be. And I, the other thing I would definitely say, as a backbone of the team, you look at Banks, Moore, Charlton and Jimmy Greaves, who didn't play in the final, was a genius at scoring goals and probably would have played had he not been injured. I don't think at one time we've ever had the backbone of a, of a group of, of players in those four positions since that time. And Jeff, when you were playing as well, there weren't all the foreign players, which of course now there are so many youngsters don't get a chance. I mean, you know, you look at your West Ham team and, you know, so many English people in it. Well, that's changed dramatically over the years. You, you wonder whether that has an impact on the national team where you're picking for a much smaller base of players. Is it over 70% of foreign players now are, are playing in the Premier League? So it's sometimes, you try to analyse what's happened recently, and it's sometimes very, di although I've made some comparisons, I think it's very difficult to put your finger on why on that day we were as absolutely as poor as we were. You talk about a, a backbone, but then you look at the, play the, the players that you had in midfield, and you look at somebody like Alan Ball, he was only very young, but... He was, a, I suppose, a, a leader. He was tenacious, wasn't he? Nobby Styles. Well, if you, you look at two young players, Nobby was only 24, same age as me. Alan Ball was 20, 21 years of age. Arguably, for most of us, the man of the match. And he had a, a passion for playing for his country, which 
the like I, I, I haven't seen or experienced uh, since then. It was a, a wonderful combination of, uh, of experience and world-class players and some very tenacious players and hard-working players. And you could argue perhaps we haven't, we haven't seen that since and uh, looking at the result, um, why that's not happened. But it is, it is sad and disappointing. Passion's an interesting word to use uh, relating to 66 and now uh, people and fans will often say, well, it, it, it's very different and are the players hungry enough? Well, it's difficult to assess. People, I think people say that very glibly that uh, the passion's not there and they don't uh, enjoy playing for England as they do for their clubs. They don't play as well as they do for their clubs. But there are some been fantastic players for, in, for our country over the years who are passionate and have been passionate about playing for our country. So I'm not sure you can necessarily level that, that accusation. But as I said earlier, it is very difficult to, from that performance, to assess and analyse on that on that day exactly just what's gone wrong with the group of players it's just quite it's quite astonishing does the next manager have to be british or english jeff uh, i've changed my view i thought initially any the top man in the world foreign or otherwise would be okay more recently i think with the the foreign manager i'm now thinking more towards having a, an english person in charge so i have changed my view on that and i think that's that's my view today an english uh, manager i think should be the manager of england but really, you're limited then to a, you know, an Allardyce or a Pardew, perhaps not the younger Eddie Howe, great potential, but maybe too young. Yes, you are limited with the, with, uh, the people, but um, that's my view, and I think we should go for that and get the best person available who has the, uh, the experience to do that. Well, I wish you well in the 50-year celebrations. Um, this time next weekend, it will be the Wimbledon final, so men's and women's champions, who are you thinking? Well, I'm not sure about the women. There's 18 seeds have gone already, so I'm, I've only been here <laughs> half an hour. Um, it'd be great to see a Murray Djokovic final. I know he's struggling at the moment, two, two down. Um, that, that'll be great to see those two in the final again. Murray, the other day's previous game, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. The most positive uh, performance I've seen from him. Uh, really, really fantastic. So I've enjoyed that last game. If he carries that, that form which he, he's showing throughout the tournament, it looks to me, unless there's a real upset, uh, another Djokovic and, and Murray final.